yeah hi all so here uh, i'm gonna teach you about uh, a tool called uh, chef uh, which is a configuration management tool uh, which will help you to automate your infrastructure task okay so that's a, a tool which i'm gonna cover in our training classes so okay as part of uh, chef uh, configuration management tool so what are the topics i'm gonna cover and uh, what is the table of uh, what like what all uh, topics i'm gonna cover uh, uh, in in detail uh, let's uh, quickly uh, go through that okay so now uh, if you see my screen uh, see this is a table of content uh, which i'm gonna cover in my training classes okay so first thing what we do we do uh, see the complete overview of chef like what is chef how it uh, different from the revivals uh, tools like a uh, puppet hansible solstar <laughs> right so so how it different from uh, uh, salt uh, and the uh, puppet and the uh, uh, hansible right so and uh, common chef terminologies uh, like we're gonna see what is a workstation how do we use workstations and how do we connect to the chef client server from the workstations how do you connect to the nodes that's are called clients and how do you store your code onto the repositories uh, of all our uh, chef uh, cookbooks and rules so whatever we write right so these are the uh, common uh, chef terminology we're going to discuss of once we discuss a complete overview of chef and once we discuss about the uh, terminology and once we see a complete uh, uh, a architecture diagram so we're going to start with the actual topics that is uh, how do we configure our chef servers how many different kind of chef servers you can manage right so and uh, what is a node and uh, how you uh, like how do you uh, create a node using chef or maybe if the node is already available how do you register the node with the chef server right so all those things we're gonna see it coming to chef server we have three different kind of chef servers in uh, 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 actually we have three different kind of chef servers one is a open source chef server where you can download your chef server software from the online and then you can install by your own other one is uh, uh, which is uh, a chef as a service uh, which is provided by the chef vendor uh, like manage.chef.io so where you can log into that website and you can register your account and uh, you can start using a chef server so the third one final is the one enterprise chef server where you can uh, go and buy the chef software from the vendor and start uh, uh, installing the chef enterprise uh, version so when you install the chef enterprise version obviously you'll have a, a lot of options where you don't see those options in the uh, chef software uh, and the open source but all the features are available but some more advanced topics uh, uh, some analytics uh, kind of uh, software which are not available in the enterprise in the open source part that's it other than that the, the actual functioning uh, uh, what as a devops you need to learn so those kind of information is available okay so we're gonna see servers and the nodes after that uh, we're gonna see about uh, chef uh, configuration concept how you configure uh, your chef server and how do you create your organizations all those things after that we're gonna set up our own uh, uh, workstation using a software called uh, chef dk chef development kit in your workstation that is in your laptop okay how do you configure your knife on your workstations okay executing some commands to test the connectivity between your knife and workstation so once we configure our uh, workstation using a knife software tool which is part of uh, chef dk software so we're going to establish a connectivity between the chef server and uh, your uh, workstation because for everything you need of log into chef server okay so instead of that uh, you can use a knife command to get the output from the chef server okay so and uh, how to set up your own organization how to create an organization add yourself into a new uh, organization of node and test how do you do the bootstrap on the nodes and how you create your ec2 servers uh, uh, using uh, your knife command and uh, adding into the organization of your chef server right so checking the node details creating the data bags right 
so these are the things which we gonna see in our training classes and coming to data bags which helps you to store all your uh, encrypted data in the chef so which is a, a place of our data bag and walls which are very helpful for us okay after that how do you update your run list of your node and how do you check your uh, node details uh, whether your run list got updated or not and how do you manage your multiple environments using a single chef server and how do you execute all those things i'm gonna show you in our training classes and uh, once we've done that how do you create the rules as well rules uh, so here we're gonna see in detail how to write your how to how to write down your cookbooks and how to create your uh, roles and how to manage your data bags and how to create the environments okay so all the options uh, i'm gonna cover in detail okay so and finally uh, we're gonna see somewhat advanced chef like how do you manage your uh, instead of writing a each and every uh, cookbook of your chef code so how there is a place something called chef supermarket from there how do you download and how to modify as per your requirement how do you use in your project all those things i'm gonna cover so after that i'm gonna see about uh, uh, food critic and test kitchen which helps you to uh, test your syntax before uploading your code into your chef server right so once you write down your code you have to test it on perfectly whether it's perfect looks fine or not right so that's a place where you use a food critic and uh, once you're uh, fix your syntax you need to test whether your it's working properly on your uh, existing linux server or not right so test kitchen is the one which will uh, help us okay so these are the topics which i'm gonna cover in detail as part of course chef okay thanks all